Hi! Today we'll discuss about solving differential equations using integrating factors found by inspection. Previously, we've discussed about solution of differential equations by determination of integrating factors using an exact solution or meron tayong pinafollow na steps para mahanap natin yung integrating factors. At present, we're going to discuss about differential equations that are so simple such that by inspection, makakahanap tayo ng integrating factors. Ang kailangan lang natin gawin or follow for this is that i-rearrange natin yung equation, then i-multiply or di-divide natin by some integrating factors. And para magawa natin yun, that will depend on the recognition of some exact differential or formula na i-discuss ko later. And syempre by experience, and for me, gaya nga ng sinasabi ko sa mga sudyante ko before, it requires us our imagination. Let us now discuss some common or useful formula na frequently ay nag occur sa mga differential equation. We have here a table showing a group of terms, integrating factor that we can use, and the exact differential equation. For the first one, we have the sum of x dy and y dx. As you can see, x dy plus y dx is just the derivative of the product of x, y. Using product rule, the derivative of x, y is just x dy plus y times the derivative of x. If we have a group of terms containing y dx minus x dy, if we multiply that by 1 over y squared, we can see that will result to y dx minus x dy over y squared, which is just the derivative of the quotient of x and y. Next, kapag naman meron tayong x dy minus y dx, and we multiply that group of terms by 1 over x squared, so that results to x dy minus y dx over x squared, we can see that that is the derivative of y over x. There is another instance na makakita tayo ng group of terms ng x dy minus y dx, pero hindi natin gagamitin yung 1 over x squared. Instead, we'll use 1 over x squared plus y squared. So if we do that, ang magiging result natin is x dy minus y dx all over x squared plus y squared, and that is just equal to the derivative of arctan of y over x. Paano ba nangyari na si x dy minus y dx over x squared plus y squared is equal to the derivative of arctangent of y over x? Recall the formula for the derivative of arctangent of u that is equal to the derivative of u all over 1 plus u squared. If we have arctangent of y over x, then u is equal to y over x. Follow lang natin to. The derivative of arctangent of y over x is equal to derivative of u. The derivative of u, that is y over x, is equal to, so dahil quotient to, we have the denominator derivative of numerator minus numerator derivative of the denominator divided by the denominator squared divided by 1 plus u, that is y over x Square. Simplifying this, we'll have x dy minus y dx over x squared divided by, we can see here that this results to 1 plus y squared over x squared. Combine natin into one fraction itong dalawa na to. So we'll get x squared plus y squared all over x squared. And from here, we can cancel x squared. That's why the derivative of arctangent of y over x is just equal to this. Now that we're familiar with some common exact differentials, we can now proceed with the solution by determining integrating factors by inspection. Let us solve this first problem. Problem number 1, y dx plus 1 dx plus 3y squared dy equals 0. Before trying inspection, check nyo muna kung yung differential equation nyo ba is exact, separable, homogeneous, linear, Bernoulli, or all the other differential equations that we've already discussed. As I've said, yung inspection, or itong gagawin natin, it comes with experience, and mas marami ka nang natry isolve na ganito, mas madali mo na siyang recognize. First, let us distribute dy dito sa dalawang terms na to. So we'll have y dx plus x dy plus 3y squared dy equals 0. Meron ba tayong exact differential for this? As you can notice, the first two terms is just the derivative of the product of xy. And for the remaining term, meron tayong y squared dito, then dy. We can see that this is directly integrable, meaning mai-integrate natin completely itong ating differential equation. Wala na tayong modification na gagawin. Doing that, palitan lang muna natin yung first term ng derivative of xy plus 3y squared dy equals 0. Then let us integrate. 
the integral of the derivative, imagine nyo na para siyang nakakancel lang. So, ang matitira na lang dito is yung xy. Plus, applying power rule for this, 3, integral of y squared dy is y cubed divided by 3. Then, equate natin to sa isang constant of integration. Simplifying this, we just divide 3. Then, rewriting this, we have xy plus y cubed equals c. As you can see, very simple lang yung naging solution. And again, remind ko lang kayo na kung may mas madali kayong solution na pwedeng gamitin dito, yun yung gamitin ninyo. Take note that this can also be solved using the exact solution for differential equation. Problem number 2, y times quantity y cubed minus x dx plus x times quantity y cubed plus x dy equals 0. Check natin, ito ba ay separable? You can see, magkasama si x and y dito, same thing here, so this is not separable. Pag tinignan naman natin yung sum ng exponents ng bawat term, so this is 4, this is 2, 4, 2, as you can see, hindi siya homogeneous. And as we've discussed, yung powers niya is more than 4 and 2. Yung powers ng x and y is more than 1. So therefore, hindi rin ito linear. And in that case, dahil nga more than 1 pareho, hindi rin siya Bernoulli. Try natin kung kaya ba natin itong isolve by inspection. Distribute muna natin si y and si x. We'll have quantity y to the 4th minus xy dx plus xy cubed plus x squared dy equals 0. Ang usual kong ginagawa is nagpapalabas ako ng x dy and y dx kasi yun yung pinaka basic na common differential na pwede kong gamitin. So what I'll do is pagsasamahin ko ito and ito since pwede ako mag-factor out ng y cubed and pagsasamahin ko this and this term. y to the 4th dx plus xy cube dy minus xy dx plus x squared dy equals 0. Factor out natin si y cube sa dalawang terms na to. And as you can see, makakapaglabas tayo dyan ng y dx plus x dy. In the same way, factor out ko na rin yung x dito. So, I'll try to factor out negative x. Then we'll have here y dx minus x dy equals 0. Again, this terms is just the derivative of the product of x and y. Kaya lang, may y cube pa tayo dito. Pag tinignan naman natin itong terms na to, pwede nyong maisip na pwede siyang lumabas as the derivative of x over y. Ang gawin natin is i-divide natin yung buong equation by y squared. This will become y, y dx plus x dy minus x times quantity y dx minus x dy over y squared equals 0. Notice that this is already the derivative of x over y. This one is the derivative of the product of x and y. Kaya lang meron pa tayo rito y and x. Dahil meron tayo rito ang derivative of xy, what if i-divide na rin natin yung buong equation by y? Dividing the whole equation by y, ang matitira na lang for this, makakancel si y, is the derivative of the product of x and y minus x divided by y multiplied by the derivative of x over y equals 0. From this, pwede na ba natin siyang i-integrate? This can be integrated completely. How about this term? For this second term, pwede nyong isipin na para siyang ganito. Let us say u is equal to x over y, derivative of x, y, minus u, du, equals 0. Makikita natin na pwede na natin tong integrate directly. Integrating integral of the derivative of x, y, that is just x, y, minus the integral of u, du, applying power rule, u squared over 2, equals a constant of integration. Then palitan natin si u ng x over y. Then we'll get, this is 1 half, u is x over y squared equals c. Then xy minus x squared over 
2y squared equals c. Simplifying this so that walang fraction by multiplying the whole equation by 2y squared and we'll get 2x y cubed minus x squared equals 2 times a constant that is also a constant so we can say this is c multiplied by y squared so this is now the general solution for this problem always remember na try nyo magpalabas palagi ng mga common na exact differential and from that, itry nyo siyang i-work out by trial and error and as you practice, makikita ninyo na nag improve na kayo and mas madali nyo nang nare-recognize kung ano yung dapat nyo gawin na next step. Problem number 3. Y quantity x squared plus y squared minus 1 dx plus x times x squared plus y squared plus 1 dy equals 0. Like with what we've done sa previous problem, distribute muna natin si x and y and we'll get x squared y plus y cube minus y dx plus x cube plus x y squared plus x dy equals 0. For me, pinakamadali lagi na makakita ng x dy plus y dx. Try natin ulit gawin yon by regrouping some terms. For this term, x squared y dx, sama natin si x cube para makapag-factor out tayo ng x squared. Then, for y cube, Sama natin sa kanya si xy squared. Then yung remaining terms, sila na lang yung pagsamahin natin. x squared y dx plus x cube dy plus y cube dx plus xy squared dy. And the remaining terms plus, unahin ko na si positive x dy minus y dx equals 0. Let us factor out x squared since common siya sa both terms. We have x squared y dx plus x dy plus in these two terms, common naman si y squared. Then y dx plus x dy then let's just copy the remaining terms dahil wala pa tayong magagawa sa kanya as of the moment. Notice these terms, common si y dx plus x dy, meaning pwede natin siya ulit i-factor out. So factoring out y dx plus x dy, then we'll get x squared plus y squared plus the remaining terms x dy minus y dx equals 0. For these terms, these can be divided by x squared plus y squared. Kasi ito, exact differential na siya ng product ng x and y. So, pwede natin tanggalin ito. Let's divide the whole equation by x squared plus y squared. And we can see that we'll get y dx plus x dy plus quantity x dy minus y dx divided by x squared plus y squared equals 0. These two terms is the derivative of the product of x and y. And these two terms is the derivative of the arc tangent of y over x. Then let's just copy the signs plus equals 0. Pwede na tayo mag-integrate. So we'll get here x, y plus arctangent of y over x. This is equal to constant of an integration. Problem number 4. x to the 4th y prime equals negative x cube y minus cosecant of x y. Lipat natin itong two terms sa left side. Then palitan na rin natin si y prime ng derivative of y with respect to x. This becomes positive. And this also becomes positive equals 0. Multiplying the whole equation by dx para masulat natin in the standard form, we have x to the fourth dy plus quantity x cubed y plus cosecant of xy dx equals 0. May terms pa tayo dito in which makakapagpalabas tayo ng x dy and y dx. Looking at these terms, Common C, 
x cube. Then, pag pinactor out natin siya, makakakuha tayo ng x dy and y dx. So, pagsamahin natin yung dalawang terms na to. Then, iwan muna natin si cosecant of xy. Balikan na lang natin siya mamaya. Factoring out x cube, we have x dy plus y dx plus cosecant of xy dx equals 0. This is now the derivative of the product of xy. Tanggalin natin sa x cube by dividing the whole equation by x cube since this is already an exact differential. For this case naman, tanggalin natin itong terms na to kasi kung mag integrate tayo, dapat in terms of x lang dapat to. Divide na rin natin yung buong equation by cosecant of xy. We'll divide this by x cube and cosecant of xy. And we'll get x dy plus y dx divided by cosecant of xy plus dx over x cube equals 0. For the second term, wala na tayong problema kasi this is already directly integrable. Kaya lang for this term, ano bang pwede natin gawin pa rito? 1 over cosecant of xy, that is equal to sine of xy. Then, sulat na natin itong two terms na to as a derivative of the product of x and y. Then, copy lang natin yung second term. Equals 0. Question, pwede ba natin i-integrate directly itong ating first term? Ang sagot dyan is yes. If we let again u as xy, palitan natin si xy ng u we can get sine of u du plus taas ko na si x raised to negative 3 dx equals 0. Then integrating this the integral of sine u du is negative cosine of u plus x raised to negative 2 divided by negative 2 equals c. Balitan na natin si u ng xy. Then, i-multiply natin yung buong equation by negative 2 x squared so that wala tayong negative exponent and wala tayong fraction. Doing that, we'll get 2x squared cosine of xy plus 1 equals equals negative 2 times a constant that is still a constant multiplied by x squared. So we now get the general solution for this differential equation. To determine integrating factors by inspection, kailangan familiar ka sa mga common exact differential and you can use your imagination to see what will happen kapag minultiply mo or dinivide mo by a term yung buong equation mo. This requires practice and experience and as you can see, habang mas marami kang sinasolve na problem, mas gumagaling ka and makikita mo na mas madali mo nang marirecognize kung ano yung integrating factor or terms na pwede mong pagsamasamahin. So, yun lang. I hope I was able to help you today. Tandaan na galingan palagi and huwag kakalimutan na maging mabuti. Paalam!